Larry Holder, Jeff Duncan here with you. Uh, Mark Ingram suspended for four games, violating the PED policy for the NFL. And uh, look, I think it takes you aback because you don't assume Mark Ingram would be suspended. He's so highly thought of within the franchise, in the locker room, uh, by the front office. Uh, but look, it, it's something that I feel like and you feel the same way, that this is going to be something tough for Mark Ingram to overcome. He's appealed already, and that has been upheld, and so he's waiting just to see if they want to go the legal route. But, Jeff, I'm sure, like I said, you're with me, that this is something that Mark Ingram likely will not be able to overcome as far as staying on the field for those first four games. No, it sounds to me like the Saints are preparing to not have Mark Ingram around. Uh, These things are very very rarely overturned. I mean, it just doesn't happen. They have a very stringent policy in place. And the the fact that the Saints have already been fighting this for a while, Mark Ingram and his camp have been fighting, I should say, uh, it indicates it's not going to be that easy. So I would expect he's going to miss the games. And if he's ever going to miss four games in a season, while it is a blow, the early part of the Saints' schedule is the time to miss. I mean, they've got the Browns at home, the Buccaneers at home. They go to Atlanta, and then they come back home. I mean, they also play the Giants on the road. Those are winnable games. I think they'll be able to deal with this, especially if they have time to plan. They have time to maybe go out and sign a veteran player. So while it is a blow to this team, at least it's happened in the offseason when they can work on planning around it. And now I'm just wondering – what the future is for Mark Ingram. Look, I don't think he's going to be someone like Willie Sneed where they just say, we're moving on from you within this offense. But he is in the final year of his contract. This is certainly something that maybe the Saints, maybe another team has question marks if he hits free agency. Uh, I think this it, it puts a little shred of doubt on Mark Ingram. And he's going to be 29 in December Still has a lot of tread, in my opinion, left on his tires, but gives you a little bit probably of pause for maybe the Saints and some other teams. And I think his future in New Orleans, I think, is very uncertain because he's going to be 29 this year. Uh, The Saints have a feature back, or at least a back, that they feel like they can use uh, a lot in the backfield in Alvin Kamara, a young rising star in the league. And the Saints have a history of moving on from their first-round draft picks. I think the only one they've signed recently to a second contract is Cam Jordan. For the most part, well, they guys... did sign Ingram to a second contract, but they did not give him the uh, the tender, the fifth-year tender. Right. So they did bring him back, and that's the deal he's playing right now. Right. So I think his future in New Orleans is uncertain. I think they would like to have him back, but I'm not sure what the price is going to be. And Mark Ingram, uh, you know, a multi-pro bowler, is going to have a market with other teams, it could be a very similar situation to what we saw with, say, Senio Calamente, where the Saints are interested in bringing him back, but they're going to let him test the market, and then we'd see. I mean, we're getting way far down the road here, but I do think uh, he's going to have a big decision to make going forward, and this isn't going to help his marketability uh, on the open market. Yep, so we'll see what happens with Mark Ingram coming up down the line, but it seems like the Saints are preparing, at least for the first four games, without their Pro Bowl running back. So for Jeff, for Larry, thanks for joining us.